Hello and welcome to a daily run with me and Blue Baby and everyone. I have just come from the Rimworld stream, which lasted like six hours. <laughs> Forever, basically. Uh, let's take Piggly Bank, why not? So, I have completely forgotten several things, mostly how to stay awake and continue to talk, but it was great fun. Um, thank you for everybody. Thank you to everybody who showed up, who joined us. It was an experience. Uh, Rimworld is apparently a very difficult game. Uh, but also the technology involved in playing a game on Twitch turns out to be rather trivial. So I appreciate the opportunity to give that a go. Uh, let's focus on what we're doing today. We are Blue Baby. We're taking damage. Not great. We are going to Mega Satan somehow. Good luck with that, I suppose. It does mean... Oh, that was a bloody good jump, if I'm being honest with you. Um, look. These things always managing to do a long-ass jump, just as I'm expecting them not to, is starting to a little bit take the piss. Uh, I'd like them to all fuck right off. We know that Blue Baby is a difficult character to play with, because Blue Baby can only take Spirit Hearts. All HP upgrades are just a Spirit Heart, or Spirit Hearts are just a Spirit Heart. And all red hearts are absolutely useless. Piggy Bank has so far given us four cents. Uh, we might as well open this. But otherwise, <coughs> not off to a great start. You have to excuse the coughing. I have been speaking for six hours and I should probably be not really trying right now. To talk any further, it occurs to me that there was a tinted rock in an earlier room that I probably should have tried to go for. But here we are. Um, <laughs> doing what we do. We're going to try and beat the horn without getting hit. So, good luck to us. Uh, Godspeed, my friend. Which is me. But I am what I am. Oh, we got hit. More money. It's fine. I mean, we could go to the shop. And there's a small chance that the shop contains a spirit heart, which could make up for some of the damage we've taken. Ooh! What an amazing dodge. I'm a champion. I'm the best. Bring it on. More like this. Thumbs up. You like this. Yeah, do that. Don't know whether the um, the charging, you know, when the haunt charges you because you're too close. I don't know whether it resets the timer of the the attack. I hope that it does because oh, we died. GG. Thanks for playing. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to do a, a keeper run. That was too difficult. This keeper run that I'm on is bullshit. Keeper is the only thing that I have left to do in the entire game, except for collect stuff. Um, Curse of Maze is great, of course, at the start of this. In order to get real plat, I mean, 1,001%. I never actually got real platinum god. That's the achievement that you get at the end of Afterbirth. Uh, for just basically beating everything. Um, you collect all the items, you beat all the enemies with all the characters, you fill in all the postcards. In Afterbirth, Vanilla, as it were, i.e. not, sorry, in Rebirth, before Afterbirth, you only have six items on each postcard. This postcard here, the, we call it a postcard, it's like a post-it note, sort of sticky label sort of thing. You only have six, and um, the three that you don't have to do are Mega Satan, can I point? No. Mega Satan, Greed Mode, and The Hush are not part of the original game Reaver. But uh, Mega Satan is there. But it's sort of a hidden boss thing. It turned out um, it was supposed to be a, a secret to find. Oh, God help. This is bad, but we probably going to survive it. But now Mega Satan is well known. It has become a, uh, a goal. One of the things that you have to beat in order to beat the game. And if you filled in all your postcards on hard mode and picked up all the items that you get as a result um, for unlocking them, get real platinum god. Uh, you get golden god for something slightly before that, but real plat, that's the achievement for basically being amazing at Isaac. Of course it was a lot more difficult because the postcard at the time included the Lost without Holy Mantle. We've seen the Lost, the Lost is now part of the daily runs. Um, we're doing okay here actually, so <laughs> probably uh, so that's small mercy. The Lost now starts in daily runs with Holy Mantle, of course. 
and the D4. Back in Rebirth, you had to beat the lost. What am I doing here? One wandering around like a lost soul. You had to beat the lost without Holy Mantle, all the way through. You had to beat. You didn't have to beat Mega Satan with the lost, but you, know, you, you had to do a lot. It was difficult and. So I've unlocked everything. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're okay. Now we are after 1,001%. So I never did get real Platinum God because I lost him. That's really difficult. Here's Eden's Blessing. Now that's going to make our next run, which I'm probably not going to record, uh, a little bit better. But it does increase your fire rate, I believe. It's a tiers upgrade. So it's actually pretty good for the current run as well as the next run. Provided that on the next run it gives you a decent item. So on this run, my major goal is to try and um, get... Oh, I'm concentrating because it's blue famine. Please don't hit me. Uh, oh, you hit me. You did. To the dark room. This is dangerous. Trying to get to the dark room. Beat the lamb. We also need to beat Satan. So you can see the two gaps. That's Satan and dark room. So it's basically one run waiting to happen. Do we spend the key on this or do we spend the key on not this? Now, Swallowed Penny as the Keeper is great. Now, we've seen the Keeper before on the ooh, did you do it? Uh, the April Fool's Day. If you remember, the Keeper showed up temporarily. Basically, excuse me, that was extremely painful. Please don't do that. Is now. The Keeper is healed by collecting coins rather than HP. And all HP, if you're wondering where these flies came from, all actual HP, Spirit Hearts, Black Hearts, Normal Red Hearts, are... they turn into flies. Which is kind of useful. But it can actually be uh, as much a curse as it is a bonus. And you might be wondering why. Well... Careful of this. Please leave me alone. Do we do the boss? I think no. The flies have a habit of killing exploding enemies close to you. Close to you. Which is... You can imagine that's a bad thing. Okay, I don't, probably don't need to explain how that's a bad thing. Thank you, Cube of Meat, for completely making that worth much easier to do anyway. Here we go. Right. Back on the chain gang. I mean, back on the... I don't know what we're back on back on the road again? Maybe. We could use the full card to get out of this um, curse room, which may be worth doing. We could also take this pill and see what happens. Also worth doing. Power pill. That could get us out of the curse room as well. Get us into the curse room, but unfortunately we didn't know about it in time. The Sad Onion is a tears upgrade. Uh, I don't think it's a damage downgrade, so I think we're happy there. Yeah, I'm going to do it. See if I don't... We'll use this, because there's uh, bad guys on this floor. Help, help, help! The Keeper's extremely difficult to deal with, by Justice. the way. Leave that alone. Don't want that. Full card gets us out. We're okay. We have taken red heart damage. I did air quotes, and I hope that my... Uh, the way I said that, I hope that my... I, I can't think. <laughs> my brain is dead from the stream. I apologise, but not very much. Um, I did air quotes because we don't really have red hearts. We have coins, but for purposes of damage taking, it's red hearts. The coins are the red hearts. So we have taken red heart damage, so we're not getting to deal with the devil. This is okay. Unlike the lost, which is balanced by the fact that you can take red uh, deals with the devil for free, it still costs you your coins as the keeper. And we did just get magic mushroom, which is great. Uh, no doubt about that. But if we took a deal with the devil, it would cost us our coin. Ooh, terrible. Luckily, we have Swallow Penny. Uh, but obviously with the Lost, you have, as you've probably seen in the dailies, the deals with the devil are free. You just take as many as you want. With the Keeper, you have to pay for them, so you end up doing angel runs. Provided you qualify in the first place for the deal with the devil, you almost always have to uh, you know, deny them. Turn them down. Which, yeah, I don't know. I mean, angel runs are interesting. And there are, there are few enough devil items that are that amazing. That you're necessarily bothered by that. But 
on top of that, you can't take most of them anyway. <laughs> you know, uh, I probably want to use a cube of meat here. There we go. The ones that are really good will cost two coins, two two hearts, which are coins. And we can't do that. That will literally kill us. There's no two ways about it. You cannot take something and still survive, except for nine lives. Only exception to that is nine lives. But it, it, it kind of works to have an angel run every now and then, because there's some angel items that we really want to get in order to get 1,001%. For example, Godhead. Um, also, the soul, the body, the mind, those are pretty decent. You can get them outside of angel rooms, but they're, they're really angel room items, you know? Now, we did pick up Swallow Penny as well, which really deserves a mention, because as the keeper, I'll probably mention this. Oh, fuck. We're okay. As the keeper, um, you may have mentioned this on the uh, April Fool's penny one. We died. <laughs> we'll try again. This is really hard to do, to be honest. That was stupid. Uh, on the April Fool's Day one, we mentioned that Swallow Penny, because you need coins to heal yourself as the keeper, Swallow Penny causes you to have a chance to drop a coin whenever you get hit. Which means every time you get hit as the keeper, there's a chance that you can just drop the HP you need to fix yourself. Now what just happened, of course, on the previous run is that we couldn't get to the coin that dropped. Which is a bit of a shame. But we died. We move on. We have actually got a sack dagger from the Eden's Blessing that we picked up on said previous run. Which is actually outstanding. Of all the... Well, sticky bombs are pretty good as well. Especially gives us five bombs, so that's pretty nice. Especially if you consider that there's so many items that this could give us that could just suck outright, you know? That is the secret room, which is really nice. Um, having Sack Dagger from Eden's Blessing is really good. It's something that we'd like to pick up usually from a deal with the devil, but we can't usually afford a deal with the devil. Okay, just a fly. Probably that was half a heart. Bit disappointed when uh, Golden Chest gives you half a red HP, but... I guess beggars can't be choosers. And we should blow up these. For the same reason that the lost should. The HP does no benefit for us, but there could be small rock in there, and that really could make this run worth running, I suppose. So we're just going to, I guess, press on. Hope for the best. Normally I would hold R, try and look for a decent start. Uh, a really good starting item in the first item room or just literally an item room next to us when we start is also extremely valuable. But in this one I'm just gonna try the runs that we get given, you know? It's fine. I think the keeper is actually harder than the lost. Although that being said, I have had some really good keeper runs and I've hardly ever had a good lost run without Holy Mantle. Because the lost was a little bit sort of marshalled Every single time you would play The Lost, you would basically hold down R until you got a run that started with Nine Lives or Holy Mantle, because Holy Mantle lets you go into the Curse Rooms, and Nine Lives basically lets you get into the Curse Room, although you have to spend a life to do so. Uh, it's essentially equivalent. Um, and Curse Rooms seem to be extremely valuable for both the Keeper and The Lost, because you get Devil Items for free, um, you get decent shit in them. Mostly it's a Devil Items thing, to be honest. The keep is that much harder because you have. You can't fly, you're a normal. Amnesia. Oh, amnesia is not great. You're a normal uh, Isaac type character with triple shot, basically. Which is a huge tears downgrade to begin with. You have to really. I think it's almost as difficult never to get hit as it is to only get hit once per room if you're lucky. And that's basically what we're trying to do here. We're only trying to get hit once per room, if we're lucky. And then we will sort of start to snowball as we get better and better items, but even still. Well, apparently those things do not get stopped by that box there. Luckily, I have Sack Dagger, which rotated into position at exactly the right time that we needed it to. Excellent. Explosions. Good. Still looking for the item room. Uh, still looking for walking into shit. What the fuck? Dude. Come out of here. 
kind of want his key, so I thought I would go for the coin as well. I will leave the coin there because I've been doing so badly. You know how it is. So that's what was making the door slamming noise, in case you were wondering. Where the frick are we going, though? Tumty tum, let's just wander. This way. Sure, let's beat Sloth. Careful. Hanged man. That could be good. It could help us get to something. There are a couple of consumables that we could already get with this, but probably going to save it for a slight more obvious benefit. Um, we can probably do better than we are expected to do here with this. We should use this on every room, by the way. Except rooms that don't have combat, so that was a bit of a misplay, but okay. Uh, sure. If we get hit... Burk. <laughs> don't buy that. If we get hit, we get to flip our coin again. It's basically the same as having Swallow Penny, except we have to be a little bit more vigilant with the use of our coin, our wooden nickel. Whenever we get hit, our wooden nickel recharges. Because it's only a single charge, which is great. Man, Sack Dagger is really helping. Uh, and then, ooh, thank you. And I missed my secret room as well. It is. Uh, it's basically Swallow Penny with some input, I guess. Yep, we did get us. Oh, help. There's a, there's a poop on my coin. Man, I hate when you get poop on your coins, don't you? Having to spend a stinky penny. Big growth. Cool. Dead. Good. We did get hit on this, which is the second floor, so we didn't get our deal with the devil. We couldn't give up our deal with the devil and never get a deal with the angel, but we did get the screw. The screw is a pretty good upgrade. It's not the best of all upgrades, but it's not horrible. And of course, having the small rock from the previous floor, super helping out. Trying to use Sack Dagger more than is probably necessarily a good idea. We have got an XL floor as well, so I guess hold on to your hats for that because there's only one deal with the devil for two floors worth of time. Which means we really have to not get hit at all. <laughs> it's not like we can take Spirit Hearts, you know? Not getting hit is the only way to get a deal with the devil on this. It's almost like the Lost. Not getting hit is the only way to get a deal with the devil. But at least if you do get hit, you get to keep trying. Uh, I think we try this, because there is a key. The bomb may be worth it. Bob's rotten head is not worth it, no. Thanks. Appreciate the uh, sentiment, but really don't want that shit. Two item rooms to find, one shop. A blood bank we can do nothing with. We can play it. Um, but I'm not going to. I assume it continues to not count as red heart damage, but even so. Every so often there's a chance that we don't get a coin from it, but there's not much chance we get two coins from it, so whatever. Bomb bag is okay. I think uh, sack of pennies might have been better. Anything that gives us a greater chance to get uh, what we consider to be HP is really what I'm going to be looking for. Careful. There's our coin, thank you. That was a very lucky um, battery that just dropped. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. Just... You know, keep it going, I suppose. Try to stay on top of your morale. That's the biggest killer, is negative morale. That is not our secret room. It's going to be super difficult to find a secret room, to be honest, on a uh, an XL floor. Hoping to try and maybe use Sack Dagger to expedite this room's ending. A tears upgrade is probably the most important thing for us. Right now. But... We're still going strong. I'm going to leave this coin here. And the reason is, if I get hit... Oh, what is this shit? Stop giving me these bullshit items. It's stressing me out. Um, the reason is... If I get hit and make it through the room, I would like to be able to come back and... Sort of fix myself. I'm probably also not going to bother coming back to it at the end of the room. Uh, end of the floor. If that turns out to be an option. Because it's one penny, right? Who cares? Hagalaz. I feel like Hagalaz is more immediately useful, so we'll hold on to it for now. What makes it small is okay. Hagalaz could find us a decent amount of stuff in rocks. We could get something like um, 
Lucky Penny, then all these... Uh, lucky Rock, sorry, all these bombs are going to be extremely valuable, extremely useful. Because I'll be chucking out pennies all over the place, but as it stands... We don't really have much value in anything. Oh, this is no good. First of all, we didn't get a penny. Second of all, this is a major dead end. Well, I'll put a bomb here since you suggest it. Nope. Looking for the super secret room. It could be anywhere, quite frankly. Could be here. Uh, main secret room could be here. Yes, main secret room is here. First secret room. Just secret, not super secret. Gonna blow this up because if Sack Dagger blows it up for me, I'm gonna be a little bit upset with myself. Would not be the strongest play. Hanged Man, I think we keep. We try and find a room where Hagalaz is a good idea. I think Hangman is probably going to be more useful than the uh, hang. I'm sorry, the Hanged Man is going to be more useful than Hagalaz. Of course, we have two bosses to beat. So I'm going to hold on to Hagalaz and just on the off chance that we find some sort of room full of rocks, which may have a Tinted Rock in it, which may have. We already have small rocks, so who cares about Tinted Rocks? I suppose. Um, no, I don't want this. Leave me alone. You can see how slow our rate of fire is. Probably our biggest issue right now is dealing with that shit. You are no use, little Chad, except for the simple fact that you are going to give me the occasional fly, I suppose. That's all you're good for. Hitting three times at once is okay, but honestly, I'd rather be hitting three times as fast. Because if we miss any of them, we've lost the benefit of three times at once. Managed to not get hit there. Did get a deal with the devil as a result, which is great. So we'll take these, but just in case there's Krampus. Ah, uh, this is shit. Which is good. I think it's good that this is shit. There was a coin there. That's a bit of a mistake. Never mind. Don't really care for Hagalaz then. We'll go and get the, the Hanged Man card, because I think it could just give us a way out. You know, if there's a coin hidden somewhere behind some rocks and we're hurting for HP. The Hangman can certainly assist with that. A bit of a shame about that Blue Baby daily, but I guess it is what it is. Blue Baby is always... I think it's harder than the Lost. It doesn't really start off with any major benefits. But there's a huge detriment in the fact that you can't pick up any HP without some extreme luck. I mean, if you can beat the game as Blue Baby... Why am I chasing it in this direction? It's just foolish. If you can beat the game as Blue Baby, you should be able to beat the game as any other character. With almost no... sort of concern. It should be second nature. If you can beat the game, coasting entirely on Spirit Hearts, then why would you ever have trouble with the game when you can also pick up Red Hearts, you know? Let's just use Sack Dag. Sackdag sorted it for me. The boss is actually right here, which is very tempting. Speed down is bad. Uh, we don't have a coin available, but we do have... Well, we still can't get hit, but it was nice. Oh, we got hit anyway. I'm going to call it. I'm really tired, but... I mean, thank you for joining me for a couple of extra attempts at the Keeper and what was possibly an attempt at the daily, but... It completely went to shit. Uh, I'm probably going to sleep all day tomorrow, so don't look out for one then. But I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.